Today, we'll take a look at two additional cocktails from Smuggler's Cove. They're both in the book if you want to follow along, and both of these are original Smuggler's Cove cocktails. We're going to make the Formidable Dragon as well as the Hibiscus Rum Punch. And we'll start right away with the Hibiscus Rum Punch, which does require some prep as we'll need the hibiscus rum infusion so we can make our hibiscus liqueur. To make the Smuggler's Cove hibiscus infusion, you'll need two discs of fresh ginger, five whole cloves, 500 milliliters of a lightly aged rum, and half a cup of dried hibiscus flowers. If you're following along with the book, I am cutting this recipe in half. Add your ginger to a jar or container along with five cloves. Next, add in 500 milliliters of a light rum. And half a cup of dried hibiscus flowers. Find these on Amazon and I'll link to them in the recipe. Now to make this an infusion, we need to let this steep for 48 hours. I made this a few months ago. The bar was even a different color then. Now to make the Smuggler's Cove Hibiscus Liqueur, you'll need a quarter cup of honey, one and a half cups of our Smuggler's Cove Spiced Hibiscus Infusion, and half a cup of a two to one simple syrup. Measure out one and a half cups of our Spiced Hibiscus Infusion and add it to a jar or a container. Next, add in a quarter cup of honey, and it helps here if you heat this up in the microwave. Finally, add in half a cup of a two to one simple syrup, and that's it. You have the Smuggler's Cove Hibiscus Liqueur. This stuff is delicious, and it makes for a very pretty drink as well. And for the Hibiscus Rum Punch, you'll need club soda, lime juice, our Hibiscus Liqueur, Demerara syrup, and half an ounce of a blended aged rum from Jamaica. Start by building this in your small shaker tin by adding in half a cup of fresh lime juice, one ounce of hibiscus liqueur, a third an ounce of demerara syrup, and one and a half ounces of the Jamaican rum, like an Appleton 12. Add some ice to your tin and shake it for five to 10 seconds. And before we pour in our drink, first, let's add two ounces of club soda to our glass. And there you go, the hibiscus rum punch. Let's taste it. Now, I have had this drink before. Uh, I really like it. Uh, it's a nice, uh, easy summer uh, daytime sipping drink. And while we did only put an ounce and a half of Appleton in here, remember our hibiscus liqueur is rum. Um, it's as strong as, as rum for the most part. And it's, uh, it just adds a nice little different flavor that's nice and refreshing. And you can't really put your finger on it, but it's a hibiscus, it's a clove, it's a ginger. It's all like kind of familiar uh, ingredients, but it just makes what is really like one of the more beautiful and, you know, decorative looking drinks. Uh, they garnish it in the book with a dried hibiscus flower, but I don't have those. Uh, the bag you get, they're all kind of chopped up already. So I think it's something you really enjoy and you can easily change up the rums if you want to do something that's a little lighter than an Appleton 12. You could even go out Signature or just move off to a different type of rum altogether. And as far as long drinks go, it's it's a great change up to your typical uh, club soda drinks and uh, something that people probably, unless you've been to Smuggler's Cove, haven't had because that 
work you have to do up front with the hibiscus infusion and the liqueur. It is easy, but it does take some time. But once you make that, you'll have a great hibiscus liqueur that you can use in this drink and others. So uh, that's a, one of the recipes in the book that I think I recommend trying out because uh, it's, it's easy to take on and it makes uh, a great liqueur. All right, next we'll move on to the Formidable Dragon. And for this one, you'll need lemon juice, lime juice, honey syrup, molasses syrup, Amaro de Angostura, blended aged rum, a black blended rum, and a lightly aged hot still rum, and club soda. We're gonna use a drink mixer for this one. So start by building this in your drink mixer tin with three quarter ounces of fresh lemon juice, three quarter ounces of fresh lime juice, half an ounce of honey syrup, three quarter ounces of a molasses syrup, half an ounce of Amaro de Angostura, one and a half ounces of a blended aged rum, and I'm using plantation here, one ounce of black blended rum, for this I'm using Caruba, three quarter ounces of a lightly aged overproof rum, and I'm using Smith and Cross. All right, add in about 18 ounces of crushed or nugget ice. That's just about over two cups and flash blend for five seconds. All right, let's taste the Formidable Dragon. Now I have had this drink once at Smuggler's Cove. I don't exactly remember it. I know I liked it. Um, I'm liking it a lot more than I remember right now. It has the look of your sort of standard drinks, but there's not a whole lot of sort of spice in here, but you're definitely getting the lemon molasses and the Amaro de Angostura. And that Amaro, it just adds this other dimension to the drink that you're not really you know, picking up on in, in many other tiki drinks. Now the addition of Karuba and Smith and Cross, you know, might have you thinking that this is gonna lean too much in that Jamaican sort of funkiness, but it's not. Uh, it's very subdued, it's very mellow. It's, um, I mean, the drink's very balanced overall. Also the Smuggler's Cove gated finish, it's covered in the book, but when they talk about that, they want you to dump all of the contents from your tin into your glass. And then before you're done, uh, before all the ice is out, you put your Hawthorne strainer on to make sure that all that foam and all that texture you've kind of built up in the drink stays on the top. If you were to dump it all out, the last um, ingredients would be your ice in here and they'd kind of sit on the top, but this does still have some ice left. So you'll see that called for in a lot of Martin Kate recipes. It's called the gated finish. And there you go, two fantastic drinks from Smuggler's Cove. Smuggler's Cove original cocktails, both of them in the book if you wanna follow the recipe there. I'll have a link for the book um, down in the description as well. The Hibiscus Rum Punch, just a great all day drinking drink. Uh, it's mellow and it has some great summer flavors. It's really refreshing. And then on the other end, while it seems like it's gonna be a really heavy drink because of the ingredients in it, it, it does taste more balanced. It is lighter than you would imagine. And the Formidable Dragon, another great Smuggler's Cove cocktail. Both of these drinks, uh, drinks that I highly recommend uh, two of the best you're gonna find at Smuggler's Cove or in the Smuggler's Cove book. If you enjoyed this video, uh, give the video a like below, consider subscribing to the channel. Otherwise, you can check out these other videos right here and we will see you on the next one.